welcome to Bunsai Tarot. My name is Tree. Um, today's pick card reading is on what do people say about you? So now, you know we're going to get into the juicy tea, the, the information there. But um, welcome to everybody who is new here. I appreciate you guys for being here today. Hello to everybody who is a returning viewer, a subscriber, my new subscriber. Welcome to the Bonsai fam. I appreciate y'all as well. Um, but you guys know I'm going to tap into your energy in the beginning and pull an overall card to see what spirit has to say to you today. Um, so, yeah, my voice sounds a little bit weird, y'all. I'm trying to get sick, but I refuse. I don't care. I'm doing everything, y'all. Tea, medicine, no. We're not getting sick. It's the summertime. I should be chilling, but it's not working. But anyway, let's see. <laughs> it says, it is safe for you to shine. So this is just a reiteration of what we were talking about last reading with the shining good into your your spiritual power you know what i mean things like that but let me see if there's any like clarification you're going into empress energy or you're already in your empress energy that's what spirit is saying here and that's probably it with the pink because usually when i see pink i don't know i've been liking pink lately i know i don't wear it on this channel or nothing like that but like it's something about the color that just makes you feel like i don't know feminine like girly very like safe kind of like cute i don't know it's something about that energy maybe spirit is telling you to Put more of that energy around you if you're feminine feminine or you just want to tap more into your divine feminine energy um yeah but it's something about that that spirit wants to talk to you about somebody misses you though i heard i miss you so i don't know who that is um yeah i told you look at that yeah because you have a ace of cups you gotta you got some sort of new love coming in or some sort of like love offer yeah some sort of proposal or something of that nature where you're gonna have to be um, yeah, you're leveling up, but leveling up is going to, and energetically, you're already in that vibe of leveling up. Yeah, someone wants to offer you something. Someone wants to offer you something, but what is going on? <laughs> Ace of Loves, proposal. Yeah, because they look at you like the sun. They look at you like the sun because you walked away from something and you've been working diligent and working hard on something. It's almost like somebody wants to, I heard I want to save you. Somebody wants to save you. Somebody wants to come through and help you out in some way, shape or form. Maybe this person, instead of maybe with your looks and stuff that I'm picking up on or self-love, self-care, this person wants to give you an offer of some sort of like vacation or some sort of like getting you dressed up, making you tap more into your divine feminine because somebody sees that you're working very hard. That could be it too. Yeah, once again, walking away energy. Yeah, this could have been somebody you walked away from or this could be somebody new that you walked away from somebody in the past that had you in that energy of working hard and now you're you're coming into new offers, new divine partnerships that will make you feel more in your divine feminine power because they're going to work hard towards you. They're going to work for you. Yeah, Spirit said they're going to appreciate you. They're going to appreciate you being in your Empress energy. Yeah, this is more of my people who have had a glow up. Like you had a glow up and you've changed. And now you're attracting the partnerships that you deserve that are pouring into you. Yeah, because you started pouring into you. Boom, we're figuring it out. Because I'm like, what? Yeah, Spirit said keep strict boundaries. Keep strict boundaries with these people. And keep setting, saying like, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. This is who I want to be with. This is who I do want to be with. Is that type of energy. And as long as you keep that energy up and still stay in your divine feminine energy, you will be attracting partnerships who will meet your demands. That's what Spirit is saying here. Yeah, don't look back at your past. They keep saying, don't look back at your past. Don't look at things. Don't um say, this is how people treated me. This is how people acted, yada, yada, yada. Spirit is saying, get out of that energy. Maybe that's the energy of you going into that divine feminine energy of being able to receive, of feeling feminine um, something of that nature yeah because you're receiving a lot of recognitions and a lot of rewards you're going to be in the limelight of some sort if you haven't already or you're going to be a hot commodity in the dating scene if you're looking for a relationship and you're going to have a lot of love offers but be careful because some of these offers are going to come in swift and crazy but some of them are not of your caliber but spirit is saying that they're going to give you yeah spirit is saying they're going to give you a divine lover a divine offer that's coming in and that you'll know this by how it feels yeah you'll know it by how they act yeah they won't be worried about the way you communicate or how straightforward you are they won't be worried about the fact that you're sitting in your divine feminine that you also have something that you work on and it's something that you enjoy or if you're a business person or something like that this person will not feel insecure around you because it's something about your energy that is coming off as like very like you're very reserved, very feminine, yeah, to this person's masculine. 
Yeah, they're going to feel comfortable. Yeah, you're going to bring balance to whoever this person is. But you're a hot commodity right now. Yeah, some, someone is coming in quickly, though. Yeah, and this is your your justice, your due judgment. For, yeah, some of you guys have been waiting. Somebody might be coming from a distance, though. Whoever this person is, they're coming from a distance. And they're coming in quickly for you. Yeah, because they want to assist you with something. They want to assist you on the, yeah, from working too hard. Or somebody wants to take care of you. That's what Spirit is saying here. Okay, we're getting it. Because I was like, what? Yeah, because look at that. You've been sitting in your... You've been sitting in your nine of pentacles energy. You have got to this level and now it's time to take it to the 10. So now your divine partnership is coming in. Somebody who wants to celebrate with you. But yeah, like I said, watch out for this energy though. Or maybe you're in this energy of thinking that people betray you. Thinking that people um walk away from you. Thinking that people don't treat you correctly. That's what Spirit is saying here. But in reality, this person wants to come and celebrate with you. They want to come celebrate. They want to have fun. Yeah. Or maybe the person, there we go, because I told you with this Ace Knight of Swords here. So some of y'all got somebody who's like a good divine partnership coming in from afar. Who wants to celebrate and party with you because they see that you're comfortable and you're sitting pretty and you're good. And you have your boundaries up and you're celebrated. But yeah, something about this energy that could be a bit conniving or a bit sneaky. This is for somebody because I'm telling you, I'm getting a, a few storylines here. So I'm trying to like keep up with it. But yeah, this person could be a bit sneaky. So be careful and keep keep your boundaries up because you don't want to end up back in this energy. That's what Spirit is saying here. This is for somebody in particular. And this feels like somebody from your past. Yeah, because they see you thriving and glowing. This person could be an Aries, Leo, Leo um, Libra, Gemini energy that wants to come back into your space. Yeah, because they see how you're thriving and they're probably going to, yeah, they don't have good intention. Some of them only have a night to give you or they want to start off very slow, start off very small to see what they can give you so that, yeah, whoever this person is, they might bring bur burdens. I know I jumped around, but like, because some of y'all are on the path of a, a good divine counterpart, somebody who's safe, somebody who's going to give to you, bring love to you, bring joy to you, bring a good offer. But then you got somebody here who wants to be sneaky, who wants to come in fast before that person. Or maybe they can sense that energy is there or they see that you're in the energy of success and abundance and joy and they want to come in, but they're actually bringing burdens to you. Yeah, they're bringing burdens to you in the process of pretending that they are the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is for somebody. Yeah, so don't somebody said that maybe you're in the full energy or this person is looking at you in the full energy or this person is in the full energy by trying to take a leap of faith towards you. But I feel like some of you guys, whoever this person is, they may not be ready yet, but your intuition is on a beam. So you're going to know who this person is. This is not something you should be fearful of or worried of. Yeah, this is something because you got somebody good coming in, but somebody from, you, somebody from your past or somebody who is not of the highest vibe can sense that. And they're like, nah, let me give them an offer first. Yeah, because we got history. They're going to care about me and they're going to be, they're going to want to be with me, but I don't have full good intentions. I'm still a bit sneaky. I'm still not in a good energy. I'm still not um ready for something like this or ready for this person who is sitting in their star power who is sitting in their yeah sitting in their divine feminine energy but like i said you peep game because you're not gonna you're not gonna allow this person and obviously you can peep game with being in the empress energy being in the queen of swords energy you had to be able to push this energy out the way you had to be able to acknowledge and use your discernment to be in the energy that you're in right now that's what Spirit is saying, to be a successful person. Yeah, somebody is the king of cups. Somebody's coming in and they're going to have, they have a lot of emotions for you, but they're not going to show it. Yeah, because they're going to be hiding. Yeah, somebody's hiding behind the mask and I just saw the devil card. So yeah, this person is not of the highest light. Maybe they have intentions to be sexual with you, sexual towards you. Yeah, so just be, this is like, a, I don't really want to focus on this energy. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> like, I really don't. Yeah, this person wants to come. Yeah, this person wants to come once again. This was at the bottom of the deck and they wanted to come out. Spirit so keeps saying, reiterating, this person wants to bring burdens. But maybe you just need that reassurance that if you have somebody coming back from your past or you have somebody who wasn't of the highest vibe or highest intent and that you've been sitting on your throne, comfortable, working hard, being diligent, successful or what you do. Spirit is telling you, yeah, look at you. Nine of, nine of um, Pentacles energy. Do not pay attention to this person. Only pay attention to the people who provide you the full Ace of Cups. Do not pay attention to people who give you small pinnacles or small cups because that came in. Yeah, because somebody's trying to come in to cause conflict for you. Yeah, 
And yeah, Spirit said you don't deserve you don't deserve that. You don't deserve that. Yeah, look at that. Just to come in. And we got another Pentacles card, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, trying to bring you some money. Somebody you left out in the cold, or somebody wants you to feel left out in the cold. Yeah, somebody you walked away from, Spirit is saying here. And this person wants to make themselves known. Yeah, Page of Swords, somebody who wasn't good at communicating, somebody who's not, yeah. Or what they did say, it wasn't really like anything that's big of a deal to you. That's what this person is. I don't know why they're trying to make themselves known right now. But more so, Spirit is probably just warning you. Like it just, and once again, high priestess, this is not going to go over your head. This person is not going to go over your head. They're not going to be able to, they, that's what Spirit said. You're way too smart. You're way too smart for this person to come into your life and mess it up. You work too hard for your life. Look at that. High priestess just does not want to leave. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's something about this too with your intuition. Yeah, your intuition is telling you something or your intuition has warning you. You've been dreaming about this person too, Spirit said. You've been dreaming about this person and they're, that's, they're warning you too. The reason why they're doing this is because you could have had a very strong connection with this person. Yeah, because there's no reason why. If this is, even though you, yeah, Spirit keeps saying use your discernment. But yeah, even you had a very, you must have had a very strong connection with this person or they were a big part of your life at one point. Because they wouldn't make me reiterate this to you so much if it was somebody you were just like, eh, and you'd just be like, all right, let me walk away from them. This is somebody who would make you hesitate. That's what Spirit is saying. And that's why they keep reiterating, like, stay away from this person. We work too hard for this. But I know you're going to stay away from this person because we've been giving you inclinations. We've been telling you different things. Yeah, this person only wants something fun, a fling. That's what Spirit is saying here. And this is how they, but they're going to come in like they're like the most, yeah, Spirit keeps saying you need to walk away from them. Dag, who is this person? Who is this person? This is a strong, yeah, because this person is going to be, um, five of swords here. This person is going to cause conflict, disagreements in your life. They're going to take things from you. Could be taking your finances, different things like that. I feel like I say this a lot in my reading. So whoever somebody, somebody has this person that just keeps lingering, you need to do some sort of cord cutting. Yeah, Spirit said, you know who this is. You need to do some sort of cord cutting so that they don't continue to linger in your energy. Because this is not the first time I had this message for somebody. And that's because this person is like trying to embed themselves in your energy and then they're going to come back. That's the spirit is saying here. And they're going to do it by saying, let's party. Let's have fun. Maybe they want to fly you out or make you travel or something of that nature. Yeah. Coming in as if they're innocent. The spirit is saying like, nah, like you need to, yeah, this person is not it or they're not for you. Yeah. And it's all hidden. This person wants to keep this hidden, but I'm telling you, <laughs> can't hide things from my people. Like, and then the King of Cups, Knight of Cups, well, King of Cups came out again this person that's why they're hiding it they're hiding all this energy yeah somebody misses you but they're in a devil energy it's a toxic cord or a toxic connection yeah so once again i'm gonna reiterate stay away from this person but definitely break cords do something cleanse release whatever you need to do to get this person out your energy yeah because for some reason they feel bold enough to come back i don't know why yeah spirit's like nah <laughs> nah the world card means completion and ending that part, yeah, look at that, causing heartbreak. I'm telling you, this person is going to cause heartbreak. They're going to cause heartbreak. They're going to put you back in shambles. You're going to go back to where you came from before this divine feminine energy here. And Spirit's like, no, we're not putting my people through this again. Yeah, there is the end. That's it. Especially if you think this is like a twin flame, a soulmate energy, especially if it's that. Spirit is saying like, sometimes you're meant to be with those people in these lifetimes, but sometimes you're not. And sometimes they don't want to do the work that you have done. That's what Spirit is saying here. Yeah, sometimes they don't want to do the work. And sometimes it's okay because there are other lifetimes that you can learn the lesson in. But for you in particular, this person is at least at this moment, I'm not going to say in general, but at least at this moment, they haven't done the healing work. Yeah, and if they did any healing work, it's superficial. So it's on the outside. They look like they're more abundant now. They look like they're they look like they're more emotional now. They look like they care now. You know what I mean? But it's all physical. It's nothing. They still haven't done the mental healing work that spirit wants them to do. And that's why spirit is warning you against them. They're not gonna put their they're not gonna put their precious person in the way of harm. Especially if you've already went through that and you've already learned those lessons. Yeah, that's what spirit is saying here. So yeah, this is just for somebody in particular who you got a strong connection to somebody. This is a strong connection. Look, that came out again, and that was actually at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is saying it's over for now, or it's just over in general with this person. Do not let them back in your space. Yeah, the hermit. Even if you need to go in hermit mode, 
or something of that nature or soul searching to wonder why this person keeps showing up in your readings why this person keeps showing up in your energy what is it about them that you still miss what is it about that you still care about this person that's what spirit is saying here what is it about this person that you're waiting for if you're waiting for someone yeah that maybe that's the lesson in this to heal from that to go, okay, this person is, they, this, why is this person still in my energy? Why do I still care about this person? What is it in me that I haven't healed? Maybe from childhood wounds, maybe from old past partnerships or relationships, or from this person having the core connected to them. Like that's what spirit is telling you to do right now so that you can get out of this space or get out of this energy. Spirit also explains things to you too, I noticed. Like they'll they'll start to um be like, okay, this is what this person acts like. This is what this person really is. Yeah, some of you guys need to maybe pull cards, get a reading, um, or something of that nature. So spirit can continue to explain this person, especially if you haven't gotten closure from this person in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, because the more they explain the person, the more you realize how you guys don't resonate. The more you realize how this person is probably not good for you or not healthy for you. Yeah, it's like it's almost like the more you get explained to, the more you go, okay, okay, okay. You get further and further away because I could feel that you've gotten further away but there's still some sort of like I wouldn't say delusion but there's some sort of like maybe it's a memory of when you were with this person but it's still something that you keep as a fantasy that's not making this person real and that's why there's still an attachment to you that's the spirit is saying here but be kind to yourself because of that it's okay the more you get a reality check of this person but not them coming in your life but more so understanding who they are the more it'll get easier to cut cords from this person or remove yourself from this person. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you. I know this one was a bit of a long one, but I just had to explain it because they were like, they were going in here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the three piles on the screen for you now. All right. So I'll give you guys a few seconds there. All right, and the timestamps will be in the description box below and in the comment section. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in power one. <laughs> hey, power one, welcome to your reading. This is a pick a card reading on what are people saying about you. So let's go ahead and check into the energy and see what spirit has to say to you today. So ancestors, spirit guys, angels, what are people saying about pile number one? What are people saying about pile number one? All right, so we got the architect, weaver of blueprints, planning, design, supervision, construction. Maybe you guys are building something right now. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be physical architect. I'm not going to even attempt to say this. It doesn't have to be physically something, but you could be working on something or you're building something. And whatever you're building is something big. That's what Spirit is saying here design superficial construction so people are probably talking about that you could be writing a lot of you guys people could be talking about the fact that you seem very distracted lately yeah especially if it's a big project yeah you're not focused on nobody but yourself you're not focused on nobody yeah you're not even focused on them that's what spirit is saying here and this is what people are talking about they're like this person is all consumed like there's nothing else i can say to this person today yeah some of you guys could be writers some of you guys could be reading a lot some of you guys could be in school are you in school like some of you guys could be in college or at school or something of that nature. Maybe you have a big project, a big paper that you're working on right now. People are talking about that. Yeah, some of you guys, people are saying you seem a bit stressed by what you're working on. Like it's overwhelming you. Yeah, because you can't. Yeah, that's what Spirit is saying here. They feel like you're overwhelmed by something right now. Yeah. Yeah. This is the magician. Channeler of power, potential, magic, illusion, manifestation. So, yeah, you guys are building something or you're manifesting something in your life right now and people are talking about it. Yeah, some people could be talking about how the fact that they feel like, because sometimes with the magician, it gives manipulation energy too. So maybe people feel like you're like bending something to your will. Or maybe you're going after a dream or working on something that you have been talking about for a long time and people are talking about that. Yeah, like you're, you're, you're creating something out of your reality. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? What are people saying about you? Yeah, people feel like you will be telling them. Yeah, maybe some of you guys could tell them what to do. Tell them where to go. What's going on with this energy spirit? Because the magician is very strong. Like, you're, people are really talking about this. Magic illusions. Yeah, maybe people are saying, like, you're not. Yeah, I heard somebody said something about fake. So maybe you're not. People, you're building something, but people feel like you're not who you say you are. Or they feel like you're 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 doing something where it's an illusion. So you're not. Yeah, that's what that's what's going on. Okay, 
Okay, so people could be talking about a project, a, a, a job, a business, something that you're doing, and they feel like it's like it's not everything is not what it seems. Yeah, they feel like you're hiding something about it. Yeah, that there we go. Because I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah, they feel like you're hiding something about it. You're not saying something. Um, they feel like you're manipulating the energy of said project or said thing that you're working on so that people can like it more or um yeah enjoy it more something of that nature they feel like you're using magic they feel like you're using yeah that's what spirit is saying they feel like you're using some sort of like amplifier to your life or something of that nature on whatever project you're working on and this is why they what they're talking about yeah because they're like there's no yeah because this is especially from people who are doing the same thing that you're doing or um creating the same thing that you're doing but they're not getting the accolades like you're doing it they're not getting the 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 shine like you are and um obviously from this picture it looks like you're working very hard on what you're doing so you're receiving said accolades probably from that but people are just talking about it they're like nah there's no way that this person because you notice how this is like dreary it's kind of like the sky is like dark yada, yada, yada. but somehow this dark energy is getting like fire attention that's what spirit is saying here yeah this is for people who could possibly be jealous of you or people who don't have the same like impact on on um impact when it comes to whatever you're doing yeah because they feel like you're so successful but they don't understand why because they're looking at the way they do things and their work and how it looks on their end and they look like they're like immaculate things are like flashy things are like this things are like that but you come over here you're working diligently you're working smartly some of your stuff looks kind of like it's like it's chilling like you're not you're not doing anything that's a big deal that makes a loud boom but for some reason you're receiving a lot of attention that's what spirit is saying here and this is what people are talking about yeah they're not yeah somebody's not happy about that energy they feel like yeah somebody's being fake or somebody's manifesting, or somebody's using magic, or somebody's this, this, and that, because they don't get it. They don't understand how they're not making as big of an impact as you are, or they're not working very, yeah. So like I said, I say this a lot, you're working smarter, not harder, and this is why people are pissed. Yeah, then somebody's pissed about this, or some, but you have two sides of the coin. You got two, somebody who's like really pissed, and then there's somebody who wants to learn what you're doing, yeah. Yeah, because they feel like you are an alchemist. They feel like you are a master manifester when it comes to things. What you think you get because there's no way that what you're, how you're, yeah. Some of you guys could have got like new homes, um, yeah, new businesses, new different things like that. Like recently that people just don't understand because it doesn't look like you're doing much. It looks like you're working on something big, but it doesn't look like the big thing that you're working on is going, is receiving this type of energy. That's what Spirit is saying, receiving this type of finances or money. Yeah, they're like, yeah, that's what Spirit is saying here. So they're like, they don't understand what you're doing or how you're doing it. Yeah, it excites them though. People are excited about this energy though. Yeah, they want to learn from you. Some people are talking about maybe that you have a tendency to probably drink or like hang out or you could be a drunk or some sort. Uh-uh, Spirit, let's try this again. We was doing so well. This whole reading, we haven't had 10 cards and now they want to like, boop. All right, let's see. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, some of y'all are really shining right now. Really shining. And these people, yeah, seeker, self-restraint. It says the Aztec. Um, abstinence, purity, purification, discipline. So people could be talking about how disciplined you are, how, like, go-getter you are. That's the energy that you got. Yeah, I don't know why this card is so strong right now with the magician energy. Like, maybe you guys are very intuitive. Maybe your intuition is very strong. People are talking about that. Um, I don't know, like, especially if you're in the spiritual community. But, yeah, there's something about you that is, like, it's, like, it feels like it's pulling people in or it's pulling something in. That's what Spirit is saying here. And it's literally because of your your diligence in who you are. Yeah, your, it says abstinence, purification, your discipline. Your discipline and your focus is the reason why you are achieving what you're achieving. But people are just, like, they they, they just see the magic behind it. That's what Spirit is saying here yeah it's something about it it's something about you that's like like people's heart that's what they're talking about like their heart is just like pulled towards you or they really care about you yeah yeah it's something about it i don't know people are chit-chatting right now though yeah they're excited by you somebody's excited by you or people are excited about you but what are, what are they talking about i'm trying to get into it but the magician energy is strong yeah because we got the queen of cups energy it says compassion comfort 
calming, nurturing, healing. I thought that's all text message, y'all. Yeah, emotionally stable, intuitive. Career. Yeah, maybe that's it with the magician energy. Your love energy is so strong, and people are talking about that. Like, like they feel like you're you're giving a lot, or you're very loving, or you're very healing. That's what people are talking about. Yeah, it's something about it. But they, they just keep talking about how they feel like you're doing the bare minimum and you're getting like huge results or big results and they don't understand it. Yeah, some people are feeling some type of way. They feel disappointed. Some people are feeling like failures around you because they're doing the same thing you're doing and they're not as far along as you are and they don't understand that. That's what Spirit is saying here. Now, I don't get that these people are jealous of you. That's what Spirit is saying here. But I do get that they are, they just want to know the blueprint of what you're doing. That's what Spirit is saying. Yeah, these people feel like they're like... Yeah, disconnected. They feel some type of way about this with the four of cups and you got the five of cups here. Yeah, it's like they're feeling like or maybe they feel like you're in this energy. Maybe you're disappointed by something or you regret or you're having a bit of pessimism, even though what they see that could be it, too, because you're working on something big. You've been self-reliant and focusing on yourself. And then you have this magician energy that you're coming off as maybe if you realize it or you don't realize it. But yeah, it still seems like you're not content with something. You're not content with how powerful you are. You're not content with content with the the attraction that you're receiving right now. Yeah, it feels like things are not good enough. That's what people maybe people are talking about that. Like they feel like you have everything, but you still feel like something is not good enough. Yeah, and we got the page of wands, but it was in reverse, and it says lack of direction, procrastination. Yeah, it could be that too. People feel like you're not you're not like you're not fully. You're not fully there like you still like you're not passionate about it you could be good at something or really good at something but it's almost like you don't have the passion for it or like you're losing maybe they feel like you're losing interest in something so this is what they're talking about they're like that this person would be amazing if they really like did it or if they really put their all into it in some way shape or form like they would be powerful because naturally they're powerful but it just feels like this person is losing interest in whatever they're doing or this person is like, yeah, this person doesn't know like which direction they want to go or where they want to go or how they want to do things. Yeah, that's what Spirit is saying here. Yeah, it's almost like this person, people feel like, or they're talking about how you need some sort of proper guidance in whatever you're doing. Because if you did have proper guidance, you'd be even more powerful than they already think you are. That's what Spirit is saying here. Yeah, and you'd be way more, because people feel like right now in whatever you're doing, they feel like you're just lucky. They don't feel like you put in the work. They don't feel like you're you're yeah you're working hard they feel like you're just lucky and you're manifest you're manifesting yeah that it's not there's no like concrete anything with it this is what people are saying but obviously if it wasn't you wouldn't be building the way that you are yeah because they feel like they're more somebody feels like they're more passionate than you they have more direction than you how is it that you're doing what you're doing or how is it that you are being successful at whatever you're doing and the reason this is is because you have self-restraint you went within something of that nature that's the spirit is saying here but yeah this is what people are talking about they're like you're just lucky yeah you're just lucky and then we got the ace of wands here and it says new project inspiration yeah like that you're on a new project or you're on a new path but it's really easy for you yeah you can put in the bare minimum and it still re receives the um, results you're very bored with what you're doing though um, yeah, it doesn't fully make you happy or something of that nature. And even though you're coming off as the Queen of Cups and they love that energy, they feel like, yeah, they want somebody wants you to do what you love. They think that what you're doing is not what you love. Well, this is what they're assuming. I don't know. This is interesting. What else is going on? Yeah, this sounds like somebody who wants you out the way, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, especially if you're in school or if you're doing something that's in a competitive field or you're doing something that you love, or you're receiving like beautiful, wonderful gifts, something of that nature. Yeah, cause, um, but it's weird though, because even though you have these people who feel like you're bored, or like you, they don't know if you're doing what you love, you're just being lucky or something of that nature, they feel like they wanna be collaborate with you or teamwork with you so that they can gain access to this magician energy from you, or um, maybe learn about your magician energy or how you're doing what you're doing. Yeah, this is this is weird, pal number one. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense to you, cause I'm gonna be honest, I'm like, what? <laughs> like, all right, let me see. What else is going on? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, people could be talking about your love life um, or something of that nature. That could be a thing, too, that they're talking about. Maybe that's what it is with the being discontent. Maybe you're discontent in your love life or people are talking about that. Yeah. Urge to create. Yeah. I don't know. 
This is interesting. <laughs> Any of the messages? Any of them? And then the magician again. So you got two magician cards. I'm telling you, people are talking about how, yeah, it says action, creation, manifestation. I don't know what you're doing right now or if you're manifesting something right now, but you are powerful. You're so powerful that regular people are aware of what you're doing because people are talking about your manifestations, the things that you have been calling in, the things that you have been talking about. Regular people are talking about this. So that means that you must be very powerful and very lucky. This is what people are saying here. They're very, you're very powerful and you're very lucky. And they feel like, yeah, some of them feel like you could be a loner too. They're talking about that. Like you rather be by yourself. You rather focus on your work. You rather focus on things that you're passionate about. You rather you, instead of, yeah, somebody saying that you don't have fun or that you don't hang out or you don't like, yeah, something about that. Yeah, that's what people are talking about too. And that's why you're always discontent or you feel like you, yeah, you don't have, you have a lack of passion or something of that nature. Yeah, because you're in a world, it's given like, I saw this person on, I forgot what his name was, but he lives a, he is very successful and very powerful. I think he's a fashion designer, but his life is very minimalist. That's what Spirit is saying. And that's what y'all are given too. Like, you're very good at what you do, but your inner world is not as vibrant and as dreamy as people thought. So that's what they talk about. They're like, hold up, I thought this person was this. I thought this person was that. That's why they think you're putting on an illusion because what you do or what you create is so big and it's so like amazing or whatever job you work or whatever you're working on is so like extra but you as a person is so simple and that's what people were talking about because they don't really understand your character like that but it seems like you're the type of person who puts your creative ideas on your stuff you don't put it on you so that means that when you don't put it on you you like the simple things in life but your personality or your energy is very loud. You rather put that energy into creativity. Yeah, some of you guys could be abstinent. Some of you guys could be like very pure. Or you eat clean or very simple clothing, simple things like that. So people are just talking about how that how that all works for you or how that helps you manifest things too and how that makes you very lucky. Maybe you talk about this because some people are very clear about this energy. Yeah, people are very, very clear about this energy. So maybe you talk about being a minimalist or... Somebody who is like, who's very focused on certain things and they like the simple life, but it's like the simple, even though you like the simple life, it's just like everything outside of you is big. Maybe you have a big home, but it's very simple on the inside. You have a big car, but it's like very clear. It's white or something of that nature. Um, you do something on, you do, you have work or business or something of that nature. And that's like so loud. But when it comes to you, you're just so simple. And this is what people are trying to figure out or talk. This is what they talk about. Yeah, they're just trying to, it's almost like they're trying to figure you out. But any last messages? Any last messages? Yeah, I'm telling you, because you're so good at things. People are probably talking about how, that's probably why they feel like you're discontent. They probably feel like, or they're talking about how you have so many opportunities. You have so many things that you can do. So many things that, yeah, you're the type of person who, you have so many things that you can do and so many things that you can be. And you decide to do something like very simple or you, you decide to do something that they think that you shouldn't. Or maybe some of you guys could be very beautiful or very handsome or something like that. And people think you should be a model. Or people think that you should be doing something like out in the world. Maybe on TV or something where you're seen. Because that's how your energy comes across to people. It's very loud. It's something that needs to be seen. And they just feel like you don't, yeah, you don't take those opportunities. That's what Spirit is saying here. Or you don't use what they would use in the 3D in order to be... Yeah, be more successful or be more out there. Yeah, some of these people want fame. So yeah, some of them could be a bit jealous of the fact that you could be good at anything, but you choose to be humble or you choose to be minimalist or you choose to be chill. That's what Spirit is saying here. But this is what they're talking about. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, that's all I have for you, Pond Number Ones. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you would like to book a personal, go ahead and do that in the comments down below. But y'all have a good day. Bye. Hey, Patu, welcome to your reading. This is a Piggy Card reading on what are people saying about you right now? What are they talking about? So, answer this for guys, angels, that's the choose this me in this reading for pile number two. What are people talking about right now? Some people are talking about your youth, so how young you are or how young you look right now. And then hunter, stalker, prey, aim, pursuit, survival. Okay, so some of y'all could be hunters, some of y'all could be very young or something like that. Some of y'all could be older, but you just look young. Yeah, some of you guys have like, people are talking about your physical appearance. 
yeah especially for my men out there like people are talking about how you look so young you look so healthy you look so vibrant if you're a female same thing it's something about you that seems very regal people are talking about how yeah like you have this like um yeah you have this hunter personality that's what spirit is saying here maybe you dress in a, such a way or something of that nature but people are talking about that yeah it's something about you that's physically fit people are talking about that maybe you live in nature or something of that nature people are talking about that too um, but yeah, it's definitely something about you being young or you moving a lot. Yeah, moving your body a lot. Some of y'all could be into yoga or something of that nature too. Yeah, but as people are talking about that. Um, another thing with Hunter here, people could be talking about how you're, um, yeah, maybe you're strategic in some way, um, whether it's in relationships, friendships or something of that nature. Yeah, spirit saying people are saying you're cut through, um, depending on what you're doing. Yeah, but people are talking about that. Yeah, some people could feel like you're a swindler too, or they're just talking about it. They're saying like you're um you're somebody who's being deceptive in some way, or you're disguised in some way. This is weird though, because you got the child card too. So you have the young and the youthful energy. So okay, so maybe people are talking about how you come off as innocent, youthful, and young, but you're actually the hunter and the swindler. So yeah, people are talking about how the fact that you're um yeah. That could be it. That's it. Yeah, because you seem so innocent. You seem so sweet. You seem so caring and different things like that. But it's almost like people feel like you're you're plotting something in the background. Like you're only coming off that way for a reason. Um, Yeah, you're trying to get under somebody's skin or make people feel comfortable around you or make people feel approachable to you. That's what people are talking about right now. Yeah, because you seem so like chill. You seem so like open and available to people. But then there's other people like, nah, this person got something up their sleeve. They're trying to do something to me. They're trying to be a particular way. They're doing this on purpose to gain empathy. Yeah, that's what Spirit is saying here. They're saying you're so social. You talk a lot. You seem very open. You seem like you'll tell them anything about yourself. That's what Spirit is saying here. And this is what they're talking about. But there, there's somebody or some people who just feel like, nah, especially the people who are not trusting of people, they just feel like you are, yeah, you, you're looking for prey, um, especially if it's a relationship or you're looking to use people you're looking to yeah this is annoying <laughs> but this is what people are saying here yeah you're looking to use people you're looking to um survive in some way shape or form you're looking to get something out of somebody yeah this is not your innocence is not for your innocence is not to be innocent it's to gain empathy from people let me see any other messages for any other messages for What are people talking about? Yeah, we got the fire. So, yeah, you got people who say brave heroism, sacrifice, rescue, extinguishment. So, people could be looking at this, looking at you like VT. Oh, what am I looking at? Yeah, looking at you like you're brave or like you're... Yeah, some of you guys, um, you could have done something recently that like was like so brave and so good in some way shape or form or good to people and yeah this is giving like a politician energy so pe maybe people get that energy from you like you've done something so brave and innocent but you're doing this for a reason so you can achieve some sort of like goal or maybe become a politician or maybe become something on the board yeah this could be at work or just in general in your general life you're only doing nice things so that you can receive some sort of abundance or some sort of something from it this is what people are talking about yeah but people look at you like a friend so they're talking about that too so you have the people who are like on your side on the good side and they're like this person's a friend though i don't get that energy from them or this person's not doing this for this reason they really care about these people or they really care about this this um thing that they're doing you know what i mean but then you got the other people like nah they only doing this because they have they have a they have an agenda to achieve yeah look at that the friend card came out again so people are talking about how good of a friend you are how trusting you are how supportive you are so yeah more people did not think of you as a good person more people did not are talking about your act the things that you have done how youthful you seem how innocent you are how much you take care of people things of that nature and then you got the you just got the other people some of you guys could be lawyers that could be it too and that's why yeah because with the fireman energy here you got the pursue and heroism and brave. You're taking care of people. You look good in the limelight as a lawyer. But like somebody, maybe you have a checkered past of some sort. Or maybe people know about it in some way, shape, or form. So they're like, they're like, uh-uh, that's just what they're showing you. Or that's what their parents like. That's the energy I'm getting here. Yeah, some of you guys could be athletes. But let me get into the tarot. Because I feel like I need more information. <laughs> 
Yeah, I need more information. What are people talking about, Spirit? Why are people calling my pile number twos like like good people? But then you got the other people who are just like, nah, this person's cutthroat and a savage. Yeah, some people are talking about your image. Like everything about your image. So they're saying like, don't mess with this person's image. Yeah, and even though you have like the yeah, even though yeah, like you will do anything to make sure your image looks good or to look yeah, like you have the child, you have the family, your good friend, your sweetheart. Yeah, it's giving like you don't want anybody, but in reality, you could be something else. That's the spirit is saying here. Yeah, and anybody who tries to mess with this that you have created for yourself, you will fight back, and that's where the swindler and the hunter energy comes from. Yeah, but look at that. Like you, for the most part, you're a good person. Like everybody looks at you like you're good, you're fit, you're familiar. Yeah, like your family, like you're a kind and caring, generous person that you give back. You know what I mean? That's what people are saying. But then some people say that you're a seven of um the seven of cups here with the opportunities. Yeah, you could be out here even though you're showing this off. You could be out here dating other people, hanging out with other options hanging out with other friends, hanging out with people who aren't of your highest vibe, but you keep this hidden from people. Yeah, how indecisive you are. Yeah, because it looks like you got your life together on this side to some people, but then other people are like, nah, you just want to go out and have fun. Yeah, that's what Spirit is saying here. What is going on? What are people talking about? Yeah, because they're saying like you're, that's so funny because I'm still with the energy of the youth, the child, the friend, the fireman, the athlete. You just look perfect. The star, that's what Spirit is saying here. Yeah, you're everything and more to people. Yeah, with the Ace of Swords here, with the clarity. Yeah, you're clear cut, you're clear concise, you're honest. Yeah, you're no nonsense. Yeah, that's what people are saying here. And then you got the other people who are just like, nah, this person's a swindler. This person doesn't know anything about anything. This person is tricking people. Um, This person has a checkered past and they hide this part of themselves. This is a person who has like an underbelly. Yeah, but I'm telling you, people just want to find something. If you not, don't have this type of personality where you have a swindler, hunter type of energy, indecisive type of energy, people are making this up about you to maybe slander your name or make it seem like you're a bad person. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Because you got some people on the side, they're saying like, nah, this person's actually a bad person. This person does this, this, and that. This person be in a strip club. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. That's so random. I'm telling you, this person is dark. This person is a toxic core, like toxic connection to me or people in general. This is what they're saying because honestly, you have so many good cards. You have so many good cards. So they have to come up with something. They got to come up with something when it comes to you. Yeah, that you got dark energy, that you're actually being really fake to everybody. When in reality, you over here working on yourself, working on your life. Yeah, that's what Spirit is saying here. Yeah, but then you got the people who keep saying that you're sneaky, that you're the five of swords, that you do, you have conflict. You're trying to take things from people. Maybe this is somebody you who wants to look like you or who is working in the same niche as you. And they feel like you you took something away from them. You took away the attention. You took away their friends. You took away their job by being kind, by being nice, by being the star. That's what Spirit is saying here. So they're coming up with everything to tell everybody what it really is. Yeah, they want to show people the underbelly. That's what Spirit is saying. But it's more so to slander your name. This could have been somebody you walked away from because this was at the bottom of the deck. Um, or people you've walked away from, but they just don't want nobody to see you in a highlight at all or in high regard. Yeah, they want people to disregard you. Yeah, because you're in the queen of pentacles energy. Look, you're nurturing, you're kind, you're caring. You're the ace of swords. People think you're a good friend and they're talking about that. They talk about how you're the star. You're so fit. You look young. Yeah, you're so innocent. You're so sweet. You work hard and you got the evil people. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, so we gonna focus on the good people, but just know that these weirdos or the negative people are here trying to trying to get up under you, get one under you, pull the rug up under you. It's almost like these people also they're talking about you because they wanted to get back to you because they want to trigger you into being in this energy. So yeah, they're gonna talk mess about you or something like that. And then what are you gonna do when you hear this energy? You're gonna get defensive. What are you gonna be when you get defensive? You're the niceness that you have all the time that you like to stay in that makes you feel comfortable. You're going to end up the mass is gonna fall. And then what are people gonna say? See I told you so. And this is what this person or these people want. And this is why they're talking about you. So they don't matter because they're trying to poke and prod at you so they can prove a point to people. But for some reason, the point has not been proven yet because people still look at you in a good light. That's what Spirit is saying here. They're trying to challenge you, trying to cause conflict, and you have been protecting yourself. That's what Spirit is saying here. And you have not been reacting. You have not been tolerating any energy. 
That's what spirit is saying here. And this is why these people are trying to slander your name. Whoever this person is could be the hierophant or energy higher than you. That's what spirit is saying here. Who needs social approval. Who needs somebody to conform to them. So when they see somebody like this or like you. Who's young, youthful, friendly, loving, caring, a star. Taking the energy away from them. They start, build, they start beating people down so that they can get their rank back. Or their hierarchy back. Or whatever energy they're in. That's what spirit is saying here. But this person is going to receive divine justice. Whoever this person is whatever that means for them so if they're coming at you or doing gossip spreading rumors being negative in any way shape or form they're going to receive the karma from that but this is what they're telling people yeah look at that queen of cups i'm sorry your energy is a vibe you're the queen of pentacles your heart is good the king i mean your money's good king of cup, queen of cups your pentacle is good i mean your heart is good i can't even talk <laughs> Yeah, you protect yourself, you're a good friend, you're useful, you're vibrant, you're light. You walk away from things that no longer serve you. You could have walked away from this person. And these people are saying that. They're like, this person, this person has been through a lot. This person has done this and they've always been good to me. They've always talked kindly to me. They've always been nice to me. So nobody's really fully, because you notice it's so many cards of the good that this is so small, like a little small amount of the bad. And that's because these people have nothing better to do with themselves. Yeah, because you're so innocent. You're so kind. You're so caring. People are talking about that with that youth and that child energy. And they love your vibe. That's what Spirit is saying. You're so authentic. This is what they're talking about. And this person just doesn't want you to be authentic. <laughs> or these people who are trying to spread this type of rumor. But yeah, that's all I have for you. Pile number three. Um, pile number threes. Pile number twos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you like the book personal, email down below. But y'all have a good day. Bye. Hey, pile three. Welcome to your reading. This is Pick a Card Reading on What Are People Saying About You? And then it says Weaver of Tales, Storytelling, Crafting, Communication. Um, this is Writer. So I'm assuming that people are saying that you are, maybe you are a storyteller. Yeah, maybe you could be a writer, but people feel like you're not telling, maybe people feel like you're not telling the truth on something. Let's see, what's going on? Yeah, you guys, yeah, some of you guys, you could, with the Weaver of Tales and Storyteller, you could be the type of people or people assume this about you that they feel like you be telling them things that are like very, like a big deal. I'm this, I'm that. Yeah, they feel like you could be boasting something of some sort. So they tell people, but then in reality, you're actually somebody who's like a waiter or maybe not a waiter, but you know, like not as big as a big of a deal as you're saying. Does that make sense? So they're saying that you're the type of person who says like you're the owner of the whole business when in reality, you're like the waiter or this is what they're, they're this is what they're trying to say about you yeah they're like this is not maybe that maybe that's it they just want to say that you're not as big of a deal as you're telling people or you're saying any other messages for pound number three what are they saying about you yeah bartender master of libation yeah with the small talk energy here yeah you're very good at small talking so you're always talking you're always saying something you're, yeah, you're always expressing yourself in some way, shape, or form. But whatever it is, you have to be a big deal. Because you notice the smirk on this person's face. You have to be a big deal. You have to say big things. You have to have done big things. Um, Yeah, it's always... Yeah, somebody said you're a tattletale. So somebody feels like you tell... you. They tell you tell information. They tell you information and you tell everybody else. So maybe they feel like you gossip or something of that nature. But this is just what they're saying about you, y'all. This doesn't have to be real. But this is what they, they feel like is going on. Or this is what they're telling other people. Yeah, because it's something about you they're saying is like, it's not what it seems. But the betrayal, deceit, disloyal. Yeah, or maybe you could have went through a betrayal or deceit or something of that nature. So they're talking about that too. Yeah, maybe because it had something to do with what you said or you... Yeah, this is giving... I don't know why I got the energy of... Um, what's that movie on Netflix with the girl who she lied her way to being rich? That's that type of energy is giving. Like, that's what people are saying when it comes to you or that's what you've been exposed to or experienced because somebody lied to you and you received betrayal from it. Does that make sense? Like somebody told you they were this, somebody told you they were that, and in reality, they weren't any of it and it tricked you. You could have lost money or finances from this. Or you've done that to people. This is what people are telling people. You've done that to people and they've lost money or finances from you or they've been betrayed by you. That's what's going on right here. Okay. All right. Some of you guys, it could be, um, yeah, you, you do write a lot of books or something like that. You're definitely into words. People think that you read a lot or you write a lot, or you could be a writer. Yeah. Ninja. Yeah. I'm telling you, master of self, shadow worker, Bushido. Yeah. Something about you is slick or people are talking about how something about you is very slick and conniving or very sneaky in some way, shape or form. 
that yeah everything is not what they seem with you that's what people are telling other people like be careful of this person because they're going to tell you this or they're going to tell you that but it's not true or i think it's not true you know what i mean yeah that you're 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 conniving yeah they feel like you go behind people's back or people go behind your back or people have gone behind your back and people are talking about what the people yeah this is giving the energy somebody's talking about the fact that you were around somebody who was not who they seemed and they real they went behind your back and was talking so much stuff or telling people all the wrong things about you misinformation about you and this is why people think that you are the way you are or you tell tales or you lie because people believed whoever you were around that's what spirit is saying here people believed whoever you were around so when you started talking and telling your truth or telling your story this person already told them the wrong stuff so now they're looking at you like you're lying yeah that's what spirit is saying this was in a toxic environment that's what spirit is saying here and this is why people this is what people are talking about they could be like that's why they think that you're the, the fake one or they found out that the other person who was the, the one who tricked you or betrayed you was the fake one and that you were actually telling the truth that's what spirit is saying here but this is what people are talking about yeah whatever this is is a big deal too like people made it a big deal yeah you were the talk of the town at one point or the talk of an environment yeah, that's what Spirit is saying here. But yeah, something about, I'm telling you, whoever, if this was another person who did this to you and they were the one who tricked them and tried to make up a narrative about you, but it was all wrong. Yeah, this person, um, your, your, your name is being restored or your name is being repaired now. That's what Spirit is saying here. Yeah, it's like you had a new start with these people because they see you for who you are. Yeah, they're like, uh-uh, this person actually was this. Or uh-uh, this person was actually this. That's what Spirit is saying here. And this is what these people were talking about. Yeah, some sort of truth came to light. Some sort of truth came to light when it came to you. Yeah, I'm telling you, with the animal spirit, maybe it could have been intuitive. Maybe it could have been something of that nature where people were, were told about something. Yeah, something was made clear. Yeah, this person's lie. This person's lies, if it was another person, this person's lies backfired on them. And something about it was spiritually related. That's what spirit is saying here. Something about it was spiritually related. Spirit made it clear so that this person can have their karma for any way that they treated you, especially if they lied and betrayed you in any way, shape, or form. Started rumors about you. Started gossip about you. Different things like that. No, this person is reaping their karma now. Now everybody's looking at them like that. Yeah, and people are looking at you like the creator. Somebody who is different, innovative. Yeah, they, have a, they, they open their mind. They have a realization about you now. And that's what's going on with you, problem number three. Well, that's what people are talking about. Like, dang, this person was actually, this person was actually okay. Yeah, and it almost made this, yeah, something made somebody else look stupid. And they're talking about how this person looks stupid now. Yeah, and even if this person feels like they're still getting away with something, they're still smirking, they're still smiling, they're still chilling, still small talking with everybody, spreading these rumors and these lies, people are looking at them like a dummy. <laughs> like, that's what Spirit is saying here. And that's what they're talking about. They're like, this person is still keeping their same little lies. No, we know this person now. Yeah, it's almost like one person went to your side. Or these people went to your side. Or if it's vice versa, take it as it resonates. The other person went to their side. Any other messages? Yeah, shaping, tempering, blacksmith. So maybe you could be a blacksmith. Or you're shaping a new, a new um, reputation for yourself right now. That's what Spirit is saying here. Some sort of reputation. Let me get some tarot cards though. I just want to get more information on this. On what the tea was. What the gossip was. Yeah, somebody. It could have been something that wasn't like text message. Because I'm getting screenshots too. I don't know why I'm getting screenshots. I'm getting a group text. Whatever this could be a group chat. Or something of that nature. That's what Spirit is saying too. And that's what these people are talking about. Yeah, it happened something with words with the Queen of Swords. Something was told to somebody. Somebody, yeah, somebody stood up for themselves too. Somebody's talking about how somebody stood up for themselves. Somebody made something clear, cut, and concise. Yeah, somebody exposed something. Somebody exposed you, or somebody exposed something that had to do with you. And that's why they, that's what these people are talking about. They feel like something was exposed. Yeah, some sort of drama, some sort of deceit, some sort of gossip. Yeah, but you, they're looking at you as somebody who is the Nine of Wands here with the current. Yeah, you continued, you persisted, you kept going, you kept moving forward. Some of y'all didn't even know this person was doing this in the background. You're just feeling weird vibes and weird energy. And then you finally find out what happened. 
That's what Spirit is saying here. So they're looking at you, somebody who got beat down, but they came back up. Yeah, this is somebody, yeah, this is called somebody, this is, yeah, Spirit said a reputation ruiner. Somebody was trying to ruin your reputation or ruin who you were. And they succeeded in the beginning until people really found out what it was. Yeah, it could have had something to do with your love life with the two of swords in reverse. Yeah, breakups. Maybe it could have been a breakup. It could have been a relationship or a lover who did this to you, who came in behind and told all these lies, cut of this betrayal, and then people started to actually see them for who they were, see the signs and the um the honesty spirit brought it out and when spirit brought it out they started looking at you different that's what spirit is saying you got so many swords cards here with the king of swords and the queen of swords or this person could have been yeah it could have been some sort of heartbreak some sort of heartbreak some sort of deceit that this person was trying to place on you or they were talking about that they're like oh this person had us all confused especially if it was a relationship every he the we or she wanted them everybody on their side so they were willing to betray you to do so. Some of you guys, it could have been like in a, a divorce or something like that nature with children. It has something had to do with children too. That's what Spirit is saying too. Yeah, something had to do with children. And that's why this person wanted everybody on their side so that they can keep the children. So they wanted to make you look bad with the children. That's for somebody in particular. What's going on, Spirit? <laughs> look, though, look, that was at the bottom of the deck and it came right back out. Yeah, it was some sort of heartbreak. Somebody wanted to make somebody feel like crap. Somebody, yeah, it could have been third party. Yeah, that could be a thing that they're gossiping about too. Yeah, it's no longer you two. It could have been somebody's family friend. That's what the betrayal could have been. It could have been somebody's family friend. It could have been somebody who was close to you. Yeah, because it's not giving like a third party with somebody you didn't know. Some of you guys, it could have been somebody you didn't know, but it's giving somebody you knew and you had to walk away from it at the bottom of the deck. And this is what people are talking about. They're like, dag, this person really did them like that. Yeah. And now it feels like people are talking about how now that you've gotten out of this and you went into this energy, now it seems like you're, you're, you're multi, yeah, you're, you're trying to, with the two of pentacles, you're trying to juggle things. You're trying to juggle your life. People talking about how you're juggling your life, how you're juggling your family, how you're juggling your money now that this relationship is over or now that whatever it is, if it's, if it's a work environment or something of that nature, how... You left that work environment, so now you're trying to figure out your life with that. Teach a tighter in figuring it out. And people are like, this person's going to do well. Yeah, they feel like you're going up and down. Maybe they're talking about your emotions. They're talking about your money's going up and down, and your emotions are going up and down since this incident or since whatever happened to you. Yeah, but you got good things on the horizon. But Spirit is saying with the two of wands, maybe you're planning something. So people know that you, now that you walked away from this energy, you can move forward and plan a better life for yourself plan a better life for your family that's the spirit is saying here yeah like you have new creative ideas and creative um things going on for you right now yeah you've been you've been dreaming since you came out of this yeah you have new hope people are talking about how you have new hope since this person yeah i heard she don't want to talk to him she don't they, um he don't want to talk to her something like that yeah you've been independent and you've been chilling yeah you got your wish come true since you left this hard time or left these people or left this type of toxic environment but you guys got the seven of um the seven of cups here. Yeah, it seems like you have more options now. You have more opportunities coming your way, and people are talking about that. Maybe you've been talking to two people about that since this has happened, since this heartbreak has happened to you. Yeah, it's almost like yeah, the spirit said new and better on the horizon. Maybe you've um accomplished a new goal or something of that nature, but you're doing better. That's what spirit is saying here since this has been over but people are talking about it yeah whatever it was with the ace of cups in reverse emotional loss yeah they were talking about how you were just yeah you could have been down and out you could have been depressed you could have been sad over this and people were talking about that yeah yeah you felt you felt nothing yeah you felt down you just felt like you couldn't do much yeah you were beat up and now people are talking about how you're pulling yourself out by your bootstraps doing new opportunities figuring new things out now and trying to do better for yourself outside of whatever happened. That's what Spirit is saying here. So that's what they're talking about. Yeah, you're sitting. They're saying you're sitting comfortable with the nine of, pen, um, nine of Pentacles here. That you're enjoying the fruits of your labors now that you left some sort of toxic cycle. Some sort of to toxic person. Some sort of fake gossip or drama that had nothing to do with you. That's what Spirit is saying here. And now you're sitting in the Empress energy. So people are talking about how you're looking good. You're feeling good. Some of y'all have grown up since then. Some of, people, some of you guys went in hermit mode. Because I'm getting a vision of some of y'all went in hermit mode. People didn't know what was going on with you. And then when you came back, you look like you're more happy. You're more at peace. You're more safe. 
yeah, your life is more better because you got out of some sort of toxic environment. So they're just talking about your life story. Yeah, these are people who are being nosy and trying to come up with like a timeline because I'm getting a vision of like those like um those documentaries that be telling people storyline and stuff like that. It's almost like people are telling your story for some reason. Maybe it's motivation. Maybe you told your story or you told people about this. So they're talking about what you told them. Yeah, some of you guys, you spoke your truth. And when you spoke your truth, this is what people are talking about right now. Like, dang, they went through all that. Dang, all that happened to them. Dang, and then they're doing all this and they're doing so good for themselves now. They're sending in percent energy. Yeah, like people are like, it's a positive thing more than anything. They're just telling, they're like retelling your story. Like some sort of superstar. <laughs> like, but yeah, that's all I have for you, pod number three. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you like the book of personal, emails down below. But y'all have a good day. Bye.